Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Rhea and I do these readings every week. Now Aquarius, this is your mid-January reading. We're going to start your reading off with an opening message with the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Deck. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card along with an angel number. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of repeating numbers, angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. Then we're going to close off with a manifestation card. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, so let's uh, open your reading with remember who you are Aquarius we have this beautiful unicorn on this card so I don't know if any of you have been seeing unicorns or horses in your life this is your confirmation my friends uh, I'm going to read you the message on this card you carry stardust in your bones Aquarius your ancestors wisdom is in your blood and the whole universe is your soul Know yourself and nothing will bring you down. This is such a powerful message for you for mid-January. We have some beautiful pink flowers. I feel there's a lot of light shining through. There's also a forest in the background. So spending time in nature is going to be very important for you, Aquarius. All right, so um, remember who you are, my friends. Uh, let's pull some cards here and see what Spirit Guides would like you to know uh, for this next couple of weeks here. All right, Aquarius, I've got a really good feeling. I love this unicorn image on this card. It is absolutely stunning. All right, so the Nine of Swords is popping through here today. So maybe there's some worry, something that you're thinking about that is creating some anxiety or stress in your life. It's time for you to release this. I feel that sometimes we can over overwhelm ourselves with too many thoughts things that kind of sit and whirl around in our minds. So it's time for you to write these things down, Aquarius. We're gonna come back to this card. Uh, I'm gonna pull some more here. So nine of swords to start for you. We also have the five of swords. So uh, protecting your energy here, Aquarius, this is gonna be very important, understanding that sometimes when we have thoughts coming in that don't make us feel good, it's time to catch those and protect yourself from them. And perhaps you're feeling like your feathers are being ruffled or perhaps things are a little bit unstable in your life. This is where you tap into your inner strength, find your center, ground your energy. What I also want you to do today, Aquarius, is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So five of swords. All right, I've got two cards that I accidentally picked up. I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that's on top, leave this one, but we're gonna keep it up. This is uh, the one that's showing up here that I'm gonna keep up is the Wheel of Fortune. So there's something happening in your life uh, mid-January here into February that's gonna change, okay? And I feel the Wheel of Fortune is changing and shifting in your favor here, Aquarius. So know that this card is in the background um, and we're gonna leave it right here. A change in your situation is about to happen here. So Queen of Swords coming up for you as well. A lot of sword energy. So this is all about your intellect, your mind, the way that you're speaking. You want to be compassionate uh, towards yourself and others around you right now. Aquarius, be mindful of how you're speaking and how you're thinking. 
okay this is going to be very important as you move through your journey here my friends so uh, give me one moment here while I take a look at your cards and as I'm doing that I wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience these cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives this is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today so those of you that are watching if my reading isn't resonating for you please leave it behind and I just wanted to also mention that any of you that have your sun moon or rising sign in the sign of Aquarius this is your reading okay so what is this for you Aquarius feel free to comment in the comment section below and share with me what the nine of swords energy is for you I feel some of you're going through this almost um uh, a completion or some sort of closing of something off right now and perhaps there's some worry around it maybe there's some sort of thought that is sitting in your mind creating some worry and stress and what spirit guides want you to do is release this energy so I feel that this uh, coming couple of weeks is going to be about you really taking a look at some of the thoughts that are in your mind and releasing them and how uh, you can do this in your own life is to write these things down to journal if you're able to implement journaling in your life Aquarius this is going to have a really positive uh, impact on your life you're going to see how uh, it actually really helps release some of those energies that can weigh us down I also feel that perhaps you're not able to sleep perhaps you're uh, you're thinking about something that isn't uh, allowing you to sleep so having some sort of um, a meditation routine for yourself where you're able to calm your mind release those thoughts through journaling meditation having some sort of nighttime ritual around releasing and letting go every night I have one which I've mentioned in my readings before is I usually take a shower at night and I wash away the day using water I just imagine everything that has come on to me attached to me throughout the day thoughts things washing away with that water and then I imagine that same water extending below my feet grounding my energy and then after that I usually go into bed and I'll release energy by writing things down automatic writing and then I also try to read books right so whatever works for you here Aquarius but I feel over the next couple of weeks uh, being mindful of some of the things that you're thinking about and you know understanding okay what is this that I'm thinking about let's write it down and release this energy because these thoughts sometimes when we're repeating them whether they're tied to your past or your future um, you know our past is already over it's gone it doesn't exist anymore our future hasn't happened yet so why are we worrying about these things right um, sometimes it could be assumptions or stories narratives limiting beliefs that are kind of uh, putting us in a place of stress or anxiety and maybe we carry those with us throughout the day and they can wreak havoc on us in the evening right perhaps you're dealing with some sort of nightmares or night terrors something like that so releasing this energy is going to help you here okay and no things are going to work out for you I feel that if you're feeling overwhelmed repeat this affirmation to you it's uh, it is all is well everything is working out for me repeat it as many times as you need to all is well everything is working out for me okay and protecting yourself from these sorts of energies or things that are coming into your mind that can kind of shake things up for you right make you feel a little bit off balance unstable uh, feel like off guard or whatever the feeling is or the emotion is that you're feeling with these thoughts that are coming in in a great way to actually understand when you're going into that lower vibrational energy Aquarius is your emotions they're the telltale signs of what your thoughts are so if you're starting to not feel good uh, if things are starting to either worry you scare you go back to your mind and see what it is that you're thinking okay and create some sort of technique for yourself where if you do find yourself thinking of this you reshift that energy to your happy place okay so to refocus your energy on moving forward on your goals and knowing that okay this thought is here why is it here why am I giving this thought energy as much as I am because what ends up happening is 
the more thought you give, uh, the more energy you give to a thought, the more of that you create in your life. And this is very important to understand, especially with the law of attraction. We are constantly creating things in our life. Sometimes we don't even know that we are creating as we're moving along. So our thoughts are very powerful. So are our words. So protecting yourself always, uh, you know, being mindful of how you're speaking about yourself. You want to say positive words. You want to be kind towards yourself and others. Uh, remember your heart, uh, your heart center. Okay. You want to speak with love because the more of that you put out there, the more of that you're going to receive in return. Okay. So find uh, thoughts that you can shift your energy towards that are going to bring you to a place of positive positivity and that can raise your vibration, okay? So this is what I'm getting through these cards here, the swords. Um, perhaps some of you are feeling like you're being challenged in some way. Maybe you started something new and that might be tough right now for you. Or perhaps there's something that has come into your life or something that that is happening right now that is making you feel like you're overwhelmed. And a lot of times I feel that it's just information that we need. So rather than panicking, let's calm our energy and let's uh, try to focus on, okay, how can we resolve this? What is it that I'm facing here today? What is it that's causing me worry or stress? Let's first ground ourselves, release any kind of worry, stress, or something that's making you feel not good. And let's try to problem solve our way through this using logic logical, critical thinking here. Okay. So just be mindful of this energy and, um, being compassionate, uh, towards yourself, loving towards yourself, not, uh, being too hard on yourself when you're going through these energies, right? There's a lot of growth coming into your life here, Aquarius, and it's through the way that you think and the, through the way that you speak here. This is going to be the focus over the next couple of weeks here for you is how are you treating yourself? How are you, what kind of things are you consuming mentally here as well? If you're watching something that is creating some sort of uh, emotion that doesn't feel good, you might want to detox yourself or limit the amount of that information that you're taking in, especially if it's creating, um, you know, lower vibrational energy where you're worrying, which is showing up in the nine of swords here for you. Um, if it's creating some sort of anxiousness, uh, whatever this is, you want to limit the amount of uh, information that you're taking in around this, like world news, for example, is a good one, right? Sometimes we go down that rabbit hole of fear monger. You want to tune yourself out of that, especially if it's creating worry in your mind, okay? I feel that um, the internet caters to uh, whatever we feel is true and your inner guidance is your navigation system here okay that is going to let you know what is true and what is not true so listen to that inner intuition i feel that you're surrounded by communication right now as well Aquarius. so you want to pay attention to the things that are kind of coming into your awareness right now especially through the universe the universe is constantly communicating with us and what's happening here for you because we have the wheel of fortune at play things are shifting. So some of you may be experiencing some sort of a change. Does doesn't have to be a big one. Whatever this changes can sometimes throw us out of our comfort zone. So again, going back to being compassionate towards yourself, nurturing yourself, self care is going to be very important, knowing who you are and where you're going. Okay, not to um, fall off that path here as you're going through any kind of challenges in your life. Aquarius. Okay. Tap into that inner strength. Visualize a beautiful Capricorn or sorry, a cap. Oh my gosh. Capricorn is coming into your uh, reading here. So visualize a Capricorn. Perhaps there's a Capricorn somewhere in your life right now. Aquarius that's coming through here. Perhaps there's a Capricorn in your chart. All right. So maybe there's someone that's supporting you, but if you visualize a unicorn and this beautiful light coming in, because you're highly uh, connected here, Aquarius, to your higher self. So ask for that guidance anytime you're feeling like you're off balance here. Now, nurturing the areas of your life that you're wanting to see growth in. This is going to be very powerful for you. Also, positive affirmations, prayers. If you're able to implement these in your life, you're going to see a positive impact. 
All right, so this is what is coming through. I'm gonna go ahead and pull your bonus card. This is the Divina Serenity Oracle deck. It's the same uh, Christopher Lee that makes um, these beautiful tarot cards. So I've got the link in the description box below for any of you that are interested in these cards. You get a 10% discount, okay? Um, so this is really nice. I love this new deck that he created. So I'm super excited to pull a card for you today from this. Then I'm gonna follow with an angel number and a manifestation message for you as well all right sovereignty is coming through for you so look at that sovereignty i'm going to go ahead and read you the interpretation from the guidebook so take a look at this image here sovereignty uh, is coming through so i just uh read serenity for capricorn you get sovereignty so the sovereignty oracle card depicts an elegant queen holding a golden scepter representing power authority and self-governance Aquarius explore your own sense of independence and autonomy it reminds you that you have the power to govern your own choices and actions embrace your individuality trust your intuition and make decisions that align with your highest good the queen signifies your inherent sovereignty and the ability to reign over your own life it serves as a reminder to step into your personal power and embrace your own authority. You possess the capacity to make decisions, set boundaries, and create life that you desire. This is showing up in your cards here, Aquarius. I feel this is uh, really tuning into your reading today. Take charge of your own life, set goals, and pursue your dreams with determination and confidence. Just as the queen leads her kingdom, you have the capacity to lead and create the life you envision. Honor and respect your own boundaries. So this is tuning in with the queen of swords and also with the five of swords. And anytime you're feeling off balanced, remember the sovereignty card here, everyone. Embrace the energy of sovereignty within yourself and know that you have the power to shape your life. Stand tall, honor your worth, and embrace your authority. You are the ruler of your own kingdom, Aquarius, and by embracing your sovereignty, you pay the way, you pave the way for personal growth, empowerment, and a life aligned with your true essence. Wow, that is such a powerful message here for you today. So embrace sovereignty here, Aquarius. I'm going to go ahead and pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you haven't seen angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So I just feel you have been receiving some powerful messages today, Aquarius. Be comforted. So number 36, number 36 right? So some of you may be seeing these numbers in your life. This is your confirmation that uh, you are comforted, okay? Uh, support during hard times. You have support around you during hard times. If you feel that you don't have support, call on your angels, call on your spirit guides to bring that support in and watch how it shows up in your life. You have divine guidance. Self-love is going to be very important for you at this time. Taking care of yourself and inner peace, creating some inner peace for yourself. This is where centering yourself, finding your center is really going to uh, play a big role. So be, you're being comforted right now. All right. So that is your angel number. I'm going to now close off your reading with a manifestation card from the Rhonda Byrne, The Secret uh, Manifestation deck here, okay? All right, so we are getting create your tomorrow today, Aquarius. Create your tomorrow today. All right, so let's read the message on this card. Some powerful rituals to do from your bed. Every night, replay the good moments of the day and give heartfelt thanks to them. Think about the next day and intend that is going to be the best day of your life, Aquarius. Then when you wake, before you get out of bed, again, declare your intention for the day and give thanks as though you have received it. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. They come with the best advice. So this is your message. This is your uh, manifestation uh, card here. And I hope that this reading resonates for you today, Aquarius. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.